Okay, this video is for those of you who are using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 version. And for this video, I'm going to teach you how you can change the position, the scale, and the rotation of your picture or your clip in your timeline. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that from the source panel, you click the effects control to see the effects. And make sure that this playhead is at the position where you want to apply the effect. So each video or, or clip or picture that you put in your timeline has a default video effect called motion, opacity, and time remapping. So for the motion effects, we have position, scale, scale width, rotation, anchor point, and anti-flicker filter. But for this video, um, we are just going to focus on position, scale, and rotation. So here you will see there is also a, a timeline, the same as the timeline that you have here. But this timeline is only for the specific picture or clip that you have selected. So you move this playhead to the left, it will be positioned at the beginning. You will see on the main timeline right here, it also moves to the beginning. So if I move it to the end, this one moves to the end too. Okay, so let's say we start at the beginning of the clip or the picture. Now, for the position, you have two values here. The one at the left is your X value, while the one to the right is your Y value. So if I want to move this picture to the left, I'll just click and drag to the left. If I want this picture to move up, then I'll drag to the left too. So you can drag it to the right to move it down. This X value, you can drag it right to move to the right. So that is changing the position. Next is the scale. So the scale is the size. So if you want to make it bigger or you want to make it zoomed in, or zoomed out, then you can move this value to either left or right. So this one makes it smaller, and when you make it smaller, you will see what's the layer behind it. Okay, so if I move it or drag it to the right, it becomes bigger, and you can focus on a certain part of the picture. So, this technique is actually used if you want to put two pictures or video clips side by side with each other. So all you have to do is to make this smaller, okay, to be exact, let's say you can make it like 50%. You can just type 50. Oh, no, it should be 25%. Okay, so you have 25% here, and then you can move this to the left or right. And on the second uh, picture, on the, the other layer, you can do the same thing. So you can make this 25%, and then you can move to the right, move down. So if you want to have two, three, or four pictures in one screen, this is how you will do it. Now, if you want to revert back to the original size and position, then you can just simply click this button here. It is called the reset button. Okay, so now it's the original position and scale. Now for the rotation, again, you just need to click and drag. Rotate left, drag to the right. Rotate right, drag to the left. Reset if you want to go back to the original rotation. So that's it. Very simple step. Okay, now let's continue with the video by animating the change in position, the scale, and the rotation of your picture or your video clips in your timeline. 
So first, make sure that you are in the effects control and this playhead should be in the position where you want the effects to be applied. So let's say I'm going to apply the effect or the animation that I'm going to do here in this video. So for this video, I'm going to change the position. So I'm going to animate it. For example, I'm going to start from the left, then I'll move it to the right. So make sure this playhead is where you want to start the animation. So let's say I'm going to start from the beginning, right here, and okay, you are going to click this one because this will create the keyframe in your timeline. So the keyframe is the frame where the animation will happen. So for this one, I have added a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. So what I'm going to do is move this picture to the left. I'm going to change the Y position. And so what I'm going to do is move this playhead here and move it to any point where you want the, the animation to happen. So I'm going to add another keyframe here by clicking this add remove keyframe. Okay, so it's there, it's added. And then I'm going to move this back to the original position or the X position. Okay. So if you are going to look at the animation, this is how it will go. So that's changing the position. Okay. Now let's say I'm going to use another clip. But here in this clip, I'm going to change the scale. So I'm going to move this playhead to the beginning. And then I'm going to click this one to add the animation or to add the keyframe. And I'm going to start with this scale and I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to move this playhead to the point where I want the next action to happen. So let's say right here at the middle. And then I will add this keyframe. Okay, so now I have two keyframes. The first one is this one, the original scale, while the second one is the smaller scale. So since I already have added this key, this keyframe, then I can make this smaller or bigger. So for this example, I just make it smaller. Okay? So the effect will be like this. Or you can do it like from small um, scale to a bigger one. You just need to delete the keyframe. Okay, or reset. Click this one. You can reset it. And then let's say we will start with a small or let's say let's, let's make it zero, no scale. And we want to make it appear on the screen. So move this playhead. Add another keyframe. I move it right here and then increase the scale to 100. So the animation will be like this. Or you can even add several animations. So let's say I'll move this one here. I'll add another keyframe here, and I want to make it smaller again. So the idea here is the keyframe. So keyframe will let you add an action. Another keyframe will be another action, and so on and so forth. So your first action is zero scale. Your second action is 100 scale, 100% then your third action will be about 57%. So this is how 
it will work. Okay, now I'm going to move to the next clip, which I'm going to use or change the rotation. So again, I will start from this beginning of the clip. Now the rotation is zero. I'm going to click this one to add the keyframe. And I want to start with negative 180 degrees. Okay. Then I'm going to move this playhead to where I want it to be so that the next action will happen. Then I will add the keyframe and then change the rotation back to original or zero. So the effect would be like this. Now you can actually combine all these effects. So let's say I'm going to change the scale also. At the beginning of the clip, I'm going to make it smaller or zero and then move this playhead right here, add a keyframe and change the scale. But you will notice it's it's like this because of the rotation. Okay? The rotation, the zero rotation is right here on this point in the timeline. While here, it's not yet zero, but I'm just making it bigger. So if you want to make these two things happen at the same time, then make sure that your keyframe is on the same point, like this. So that's it, very easy and simple.